Welcome to the flagship independent. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to a playthrough of Star Wars X-Wing. We're going to take it way back. Back to a time when Star Wars was fun. Back to a time when no one had ever uttered the words, somehow Palpatine came back. And when new games and new books were eagerly awaited, rather than met with a giant eye roll of, oh god, what now? I've got a new pilot, and we're going to go ahead and start out with the very first you may proceed. mission. Uh, this is the Boarding, gate two. Totally Games conversion uh, from 1998, running with as many graphical mods as I can manage to make it as pretty as it possibly can while still running in the original engine. So we're going to jump right into the historical missions with the very first X-Wing mission and just take it from there. One day, one mission at a time. Combat training grounds. And yeah, I'm gonna start with mission one, Dev's sidestep. Red one will drop into an Imperial training area in the Senex system. A variety of Imperial craft are in the area. Target the fighters first. Use your forward and rear sensors to quickly locate your enemy. Use your combat multi-view display and targeting system to track the enemy. Vary your speed and configure your power system for highest impact. Red one will drop into an Imperial training area in the Senex system. All right. Using the same holographic technology as in the pilot's proving ground courses, the historical combat simulations were designed to quickly and efficiently train new starfighter pilot recruits in actual combat tactics. They're also used by experienced pilots to hone their skills and develop new tactics. One incredible story is of what happened to a young recruit named Dev during his first run through the maze. And I'll do a maze run at some point to post. Though it was Dev's first time on the course, he impressively cleared the first six gates with ease. But then, something unexpected happened. As Dev banked his X-Wing toward the next platform, he accidentally jumped into hyperspace, engaging in the middle of an Imperial training ground. Oh no! Thinking it was part of the course, because he's a dumb rookie, Dev started firing at the stationary Imperial starfighters. Concentrating completely on destroying the Imperial hardware, it was some time before he noticed the message from his R2 unit stating that he was in Imperial territory and should immediately hyperspace back to the Rebel Proving Ground. Shocked and somewhat shaken, Dev managed to return home safely. Your mission is to destroy all Imperial craft in the area within 15 minutes. And it shouldn't take 15 minutes to run this. But off we go. All right, so here we are. We'll start with TIE Fighter Group. I liked Quad Link in an X Wing. Beta 1. Gamma 1. So, some folks may also notice that I already have a fair number of X Wing videos on my channel. In fact, this is the very first game that. I 
put up videos of almost nine years ago. So, why revisit it? Valid question. Uh, well, the first part of that answer is because I never recorded the X-Wing historical missions. Uh, I was just getting started. I was just figuring out how to put stuff up on YouTube combined with Twitch streaming. And so I just, yeah, I never put up, I don't know, yeah, I don't know that I even ever streamed these. So that's reason number one. Because just for completeness sake, I'd like to have kind of these six lost missions, if you will. Let me move on to a few moving targets. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is that I would kind of like to go back and essentially remaster um, what's the nearest target to me? Yeah, let's get those containers. The only actual opposition that will shoot back just entered into the area. So, but I would like to kind of remaster, if you will, uh, a lot of the original missions that I shot. Like I said, I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, all of my videos were just exporting directly from Twitch, and then I'd edit them in YouTube's internal video editor, which is adequate. Uh, I wouldn't call it great. TIE Bomber group in range. For TIE Bombers, I'll go dual link, usually. But yeah, so... If there's enough of a response from this, I will probably go ahead and just kind of remaster X-Wing. Probably TIE Fighter as well. I've got a fair number of graphics updates in here so that it looks about as pretty as you can get without going into the X-Wing Alliance total conversion, which there's nothing wrong with that either. Uh, it's just not something that I really want to do. More from a philosophical standpoint than anything else. I like the idea that you know, there are some things with X-Wing Alliance, and I'm not going to go remaster those videos. I actually have. I'm, I'm quite happy with my skill set by the time I got to Alliance. Oh. Okay, what's left? like Zeta groups up next on the hit list. But, yeah, this first couple of games, pretty up the graphics as nice as I can. Uh, there are some things with how the X-Wing missions get ported into Alliance for the fan projects that it doesn't always play perfectly well, so in that regard, I'd kind of prefer to just use the native native code again having made it as pretty as I can oh. that was a bad question rebalance my shields after that hit That's always the thing with this. The debris, if you hit the debris, it will kill you. All right, get the transport group. I could be lazy and just punch a torpedo at them, but... 
but why? So I'm targeting the wrong one here. So, yeah. What I've done in terms of gameplay tweaks, though, there's a direct draw 3D wrapper that you can download in GitHub. There's some instructions on Steam and good old games. And basically, you just kind of replace some things. The direct draw wrapper lets you do 3D acceleration, add some smoothing, update the resolution a little bit. Oh, there's a couple of squints left. All right, let's bag those guys first. Or I go after the transport here. So with all of that, you don't get nearly as pixelated and ugly as you would expect. Um, again, is it perfect? No. But... Alright, for this, I'm gonna just add a couple of torpedoes. I think freighters actually take three torpedoes to kill. No. Okay. Have all six torpedoes. Ordinarily, I would not be dumping torpedoes on this, but that's the last target. And that is the mission. So at this point, we can hyperspace home. That's the closest thing that you're going to get to a tutorial mission in this game. Congratulations, you have successfully destroyed all enemy targets. Keep it up and continue with the next mission. Not too bad. Battle patch awarded. All mission goals completed.